There are certain tips I hear where I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea, but I don't want to do it. Like Ali Abdal saying you should make a calendar and an ideal calendar and try to get your calendar as close to your ideal calendar as possible. It sounds like good advice and I've tried using a calendar in the past, but I don't want to do it. And then there are other tips I hear and I'm like, damn, I'm going to start that tonight. I just watched an inspiring video by a rising Korean YouTuber. Let me share his tips with you. I bet you've never heard of Koming Son. He's a Korean who quit his office job 10 months ago to become a content creator. And now he has over 18,000 YouTube subscribers and 20,000 Instagram followers. But he didn't have a good start. He spent the first month lounging around, going drinking with his friends, getting hungover and wasting his days. He said he felt a tremendous amount of guilt and self-worthlessness. And then he started to develop his own routines and particularly started really focusing on these three routines every day and they helped him get out of that rut. Then he said he started to change. He started spending his days working towards his goals without wasting any time. Here are those three routines. Number one, the first one is a mindset routine. It's a routine to break down the negative thoughts that say, this won't work, I won't make it. He heard about this but didn't believe it would work but decided to give it a try anyways since he had nothing to lose and it didn't cost him anything. It's about programming your subconscious. Before he sleeps, he grabs a pen and paper and writes down about 10 goals and the next morning he reads them out loud and imagines them. He said when he did this every day for one, two, three months, he started to change. It's not like the words are magical, they're not. He said it just makes you more focused on your goals. It turns from, can I do this? to how can I do this? To what do I have to do to do this? It makes you think from the top down. You start to think about it throughout the day. If your chance of success was one or 2% at the beginning, after doing this, it'll increase to five to 10% or more. It makes you go all in. He already achieved a few of his 10 goals, so he's setting new goals to replace them now. Tip number two, I don't think I'll do this one because it's pretty extreme, but it's do one thing every single day without fail. For him, it was posting on Instagram. He did this even when he was really sick and bedridden. He said you never stop pedaling and you gain inertia so you don't fall over. He said it became a habit, which became a routine, and the routine made him move forward every day. It's a promise you make with yourself that's within your control. Now, I've tried daily uploads on YouTube and tried daily calisthenic exercises, and I've burnt out with both of them. So I'm not gonna follow this routine. If I post five out of seven days, that's a success for me. And if I work out three or more days a week, that's also a success. Tip number three, he said he stopped looking at his phone first thing in the morning because he used to check how his posts are doing and had a bad start to his day if they weren't performing very well. Instead, he started reading about 30 minutes every morning. He said this changed his thinking from looking to the past to looking beyond the horizon into the future. He felt a sense of accomplishment that he was investing in his future self. He used to never read before, but now he's read about 45 books in the last year. He said what he learned from his books ended up helping him with his goals. So create a morning routine. His is reading books. Now I've tried making videos as soon as I wake up, but I started getting stuck about what I wanted to talk about. I found that after spending the day consuming some content and thinking, I'm better able to decide on a video topic, so I'm making videos right before I go to bed these days. So I think I'll do what he does. I'm going to read every morning. I already have a stack of books I bought but haven't read yet. Time to go through them. His last message in this video is very inspiring. He said when he was going to quit his office job, people were discouraging him saying it's too late to make a living off YouTube and Instagram because it's already saturated and the competition is too fierce. But he didn't listen to them and now he's steadily growing a hefty following. He said people who do YouTube recommend others to do the same and Likewise for Instagram. People who discourage you to become a content creator have never done it for a long time themselves, so don't listen to them. Those were his last words. Man, it's content like this that boosts my mood and makes me have a more positive outlook on my life. This is the bright side of YouTube. Not just a time waster, but watching and being inspired and changing yourself for the better. So the two things I took away from this video is I'm going to write down my goals every night and read them every morning and then I'm also going to read books first thing in the morning. I just counted to three, but they're really, there are two things. Here we go, baby. If you're curious what I wrote down, 
I wrote, reach 1,000 subs by the end of 2023, reach 50 pull-ups and 70 push-ups, stretch at every opportunity, read a book after waking, and write down these goals every night and read it every morning. Let's do this.